Hey guys, so I finally finished Summer's room. This room took me a week and a half to complete. So I'm so excited for her to see because she's been waiting anxiously to see it. So let's see how she likes it. All right, come in. Turning on the lights. Look at your bed. Look at your bed. You like everything? Yes. <laughs> you like your big girl bed? Yes. It's really fun. Okay, so today we are going to do an updated room tour video. I'm going to talk about everything that I purchased. And here is a 360 view of her room. Most of the items were purchased at Amazon or Ikea. So here is what her room looked like before. And we upgraded from a toddler to a big girl room because she's four now and she just deserves a big girl room. So here is her bed. Now, her bed, we did purchase this from Amazon and I'm so in love with this bed. I went back and forth between this bed and another bed. I'll show you a picture right here. And I'm really, really overall happy that we went with this bed. This bed... We actually got the bed and the mattress and the bedding from Amazon. And the, the bed spread, I believe it was like $20 off Amazon. I really did like the quality. The sheets were from Amazon as well. I got the little throw pillow from Hobby Lobby. And the little doll is a doll that she made from Build-A-Bear. So the bed is absolutely beautiful. I think the bed cost me about $150. And the reason why I went with this bed is because of the fabric. As you can see, the fabric kind of has this, it has like a, the material feels really nice and really soft. My only issue is it may be a little bit difficult for me to clean, but I'm just going to have to maintain it very well. And as far as the sheets go, her having white sheets, I don't mind her having white sheets because um, I wash her the comforter every week anyway. So, so I forgot to mention that I did purchase the mattress from Amazon. Hi, Hi. Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let's undo the mattress. So here I am undoing a mattress. The mattress came in a box. The box was pretty heavy and it was pretty hard to open it. So my husband did have to help me with that. But I laid a sheet on the floor um, just because I, I didn't want the mattress to touch the floor. Uh, so here I am unrolling and as you can see as soon as I finish unrolling it it quickly expands and you have to let it expand for 48 hours. So I let the mattress sit here for two days and fully expand before we put it on her bed. Um, if you don't the mattress will sink. Here, here is the rest of above the bed and the these um, pom-poms, I did do a DIY. I did that in her nursery when she did have the nursery. And I just moved them from above the crib because she didn't have a mobile in her nursery. I just did this as opposed to the mobile. So I put that above her bed um, because it, did, it was above the crib. And this little decal on the wall is a tree. And I don't really care for the decal. I did get the decal off of Amazon. But I thought it was way bigger and actually be, was smaller. And I was scared to peel it off the wall. So I just left it there. But overall, it still looks good having it left there. Um, and then I got this little decal from Hobby Lobby as well. So when I did this room, I really wanted to add a play area because she doesn't have a playroom. And so I wanted to add a play area to this room. 
So this is what the play area looks like right here. A majority of what she plays with is Barbies. And we had so many toys we did have to purge. And um, she did a really good job, which is another reason why I do think she deserved this room. She did a really good job purging out everything. So we'll get on the carpet. This is a carpet. We got this carpet from Amazon. The carpet was about $25. The carpet isn't the best quality, but it's great for what it is for, which is a little playroom area. So I really did like the carpet for that purpose. Um, the carpet, like I said, it's, it's very thin and it's very soft. So it's really good for what it is for. But if you're looking for like a really high end carpet, I don't recommend this. But it does help with what she's using it for. So here we have all of her toys that she plays with the most. Um, we have her Barbie camper. In this box, I have all her dress up clothes. Now, dress up clothes was a challenge for me only because Summer dresses up every single day. Okay, so right here is where we house all of her dress up clothes. Now, the dress up clothes was the most difficult thing because the way we housed them before it was creating a big mess and I didn't want to I wanted to control the mess because four-year-olds are pretty messy when they play with their toys so I wanted it to be least messy as possible so I wanted to keep everything that she plays with the most right here and so dress up clothes happen four times a day so what I have is just not like accessory items of her dress up clothes like her wigs her um other stuff and right here we have some shoes actually i don't know where all the shoes are but we have all of her shoes and i got this her shoes right here and over here we have all of her dress up clothes now i did get a bookcase but here is a pretty cool hack. When I put the bookcase together, I actually put a hook in between the bookcase while I was screwing it. And this hook holds eight things. So what I did was I took all of her dress up clothes and I just went ahead and I just put them on each of the hooks. So that she had a place to house all of her dress up clothes. And as you can see, we just have other stuff that she really likes to play with. Here we have her vanity slash learning area. Here she'll do her homework as well as um, do her makeup and things like that. These two items came from Ikea. And I had these, I still have these from the toddler room. These two pictures up on the wall, which um, came from raw well, here on this shelf. I just have like her um, Head head bowls and stuff that she likes to pick out to wear every day We purged a lot of her puzzles because they were missing pieces and a lot of her books because she just outgrown a lot of her books So we donated them here. I got this because it this is the color scheme of her room pink um, purple gray yeah, pink, purple, and gray. And this is where all of her Barbies are housed that she plays with every single day. So next is the closet. We still have her her little bow from my baby shower that says Welcome Summer. And here I had to really try to organize this the best of my ability because not only does this clothes house her clothes, it also houses all of her toys, the remainder of her toys. Um because we didn't have any more room to fit her toys. So under here, I have all of her out of season clothes in this bin as well as this bin. We have out of season clothes. Here we have all of her toys. And I divided the box into two, but the organization is off already. But we keep all of her toys in this little box. And here we keep her hamper. Before the hamper was just in the middle, but now we moved it over so that we can make as much space as possible to kind of declutter everything in this room. Here we just have her clothes hanging up. And here I got this thing from Target. It holds all of her shoes so that we could have three rows to place her shoes on um, because that was getting a little chaotic. So I wanted to be able to see all of her shoes. 
So here is her dresser as well as her TV. Um, we did, once she was potty trained, I did switch out the dresser. She, she was potty trained um, close to two years old. So now we have a Roku because I just don't want to pay for cable in this room. So we do use a Roku, which I love because if you have cable, Roku is like the best thing ever. And I just want to mention nothing in this video is sponsored. So I don't want you guys to feel like I'm trying to sell anything. But none of, nothing in this video is sponsored. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen pretty sure you guys see what a Roku is. But what I like about Roku, the Roku is that she can actually watch things she will watch on cable. As long as you have a subscription, she can watch anything on that channel. So here we have our monster spray which we sp spray every single night before she goes to bed um, it's just lavender oil and water um, we've been doing this literally since she was one and the funny thing is is that I found it I seen somebody on Facebook doing this but we've been doing that for a very long time because she can't for some reason she can't go to sleep without it so that is what everything looks like from this angle this is how her room looks when you come into it, and you guys really like this video, um, let me know your how you design your big girl's room and when you felt like your child was ready for a big girl's room. So, um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.